going on? Nothing, man. Just thanks for flying back to the interview. Yeah, no worries, man. Any of you. It's always great to see you. Everyone's very proud of you at the moment. Thanks, mate. But tell me before we start, what are you doing back here? <laughs> um, we, we've been given six weeks off, so it was kind of in our, in our pre-season schedule. Um, the way it worked out was, was great. You know, I get to come back for Origin. I've got a, a church conference at the moment, so it's, um, it's been perfect. Plus, I, um, I had surgery about two weeks ago. And I got the stitches out today, so I want to mend. Okay, so you said the church stuff. Now I'm a big Justin Bieber fan. Are you hanging with Justin Bieber? Or have you seen? Have you met him? I haven't. I haven't met him. I've, I've seen him. But How far know. away were you when you saw him? Oh, probably about 15 rows, I think. So, so you're just like, hey, hey. Yeah. <laughs> is that what you? Hey, Beams. Something. I'm from America. <laughs> well, you touched on Origin. Yep. Mm -hmm. You're going to be at Game Three. Yep. Big game. Yeah, it is. It is. It's huge, and you know, I'm excited to be there. And. You know, I thought the boys played awesome game two and the way they stood up. I think the back end of that second half, you know, something I haven't seen a New South Wales team do, you know, in, in especially in my time playing. It's definitely a lot harder watching it on TV than it is at the game. So, um, you know, I'll be pumped to, to be up there on Wednesday night. Uh, let's talk about uh, 49ers. Do you remember the, the day or the time you told your mum you were going overseas and chasing this dream? What was she like? What were your friends like? <laughs> yeah. How was well, that? I didn't, no, I didn't give her much notice. I didn't give anyone much notice. Yeah. So. I've kind of always done my own thing instead of asking for advice before I do it. So, um, <laughs> can get you in trouble, man, but it's, <laughs> it's all right. Hey, I've been going all right so far. Yeah, you're so, going yeah. good, mate. But yeah, she was obviously um, very supportive. I think I think she knows that, you know, I'm very mature. Obviously, got my faith there, and um, the decisions I make, I obviously give a lot of thought to. So, you know, when I told her, obviously, she was a bit shocked and didn't know what was going on. And, um, you know, I think my biggest thing was obviously probably my youngest little brothers, they, they, they were the ones that um, that I was concerned about and you know, I'm obviously not going to be around the uh, majority of the time to watch them grow up. Um, my little brother was crying, he was upset and then um, kind of had to tell him that you know, when, we, when they come and visit me they'll, they'll get to go to Disneyland and <laughs> he, was, he was happy about that. I guess now, you know, they're, they're, they're excited and they're pumped. You're very proud of being from out west, I know yeah. that, which is great, you, you represent obviously Parramatta and and the NRL, you know, who, do you, who, do you, who are you most proud about representing over there? Everyone generally, you know, mm. southwest of Sydney where I grew up, Campbelltown. For me, something that, you know, I've always been proud of. You know, I think growing up, I probably wasn't proud of being from there because, you know, that was probably known as the ghetto, um, you know, of Sydney. I think for me, being a kid from southwest of Sydney, uh, growing up in housing commission, you know, with a single mum, and to be able to, you know what I mean, not let anything hold me back or not let you know, stereotypes or uh, people's opinions to stop me being who I want to be um, is definitely something I'm proud of. You can be uh, whatever you set your mind to be, and that's, that's truth. You know, I'm a testament to that. You were the great white in a swimming pool. Now you're a tadpole in the ocean over there. Is that humbling around the guys? Oh, I, think, I think for me it's, it's extremely humbling, mm. extremely humbling. And that's part of the reason kind of why I went over there. You know, I mean, I think for me, while I'm over there, you know, I, I've always set myself challenges my whole life, and I kind of realised, you know, I was doing something that wasn't challenging me anymore, and said I wanted to change, knowing that obviously people, the fans and, and family and whatnot, were going to get hurt with me going away and travelling. But you got to realise, put things in perspective. I walked away from a six million dollar deal to go to a one point five million dollar deal. I heard it was ten million, but six million will take this. Oh, not endorsements, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> You know what I mean, I had all the power as a rugby league player, I had all the money, but for me, that's not what I wanted, you know what I mean? I wanted to challenge myself, I wanted to push myself, I wanted to take myself to, to places I'd never been before, you know what I mean? Living a, a limitless life, and that's the only way I could do that was to go over there, and that's, then that's what I'm doing. Okay, so where are you at now? This is what everyone wants to know. Where are you at now? You know, for me, um, I've really embraced everything, you know, every single um, session we've had, every single meeting we've had, and um, it's... Hasn't been easy. You know, the first three weeks, literally, I'd walk out of meetings and, and I'd be speaking to the boys, going, "Mate, I did not understand yeah. one word you just said." I've had my dark days in San Fran. I've had days where, I, literally, if I didn't have my faith, I'd be home. I'd be back here in, in a half. You know, I've sat in hotels, looking at ceilings. There's definitely been days where I've questioned it, you know, and just said, "What's doing?" But from a faith point, my, my you know, my faith's too strong for me for, for me to even consider coming mm. back. That phase was, was definitely the hardest phase to go through. And then once I got that down pat, you know, literally, you go on the field and it's just like that. It just, it just clicks. They're confident that you're going to make the final cut. How do you feel? Are you confident? Are you confident you're going to make this final cut? You know, for me, it, it's not about that. For me, 
it's about learning and it's about you know training and and getting my head around the game because at the end of the day that's that's what's going to make the roster you know all right man reggie bush i love reggie bush you don't yeah. love reggie. Uh, what's he like and yeah reggie's reggie's a great dude does um, he say anything about kim kardashian no <laughs> no no <it's> <laughs> the boys <laughs> hey? he does doesn't he when you first come the boys like man i'm just gonna make sure it's all we're all comfortable for us give him about two weeks then i gotta ask a question man <laughs> it's like that's what the boys are like what do you miss most about home or australia uh, probably the coffee. Coffee? <laughs> I've been got no coffee in America. Mate, no, no. I'd say it's it's vegan, but it's not. It's rubbish, man. It's so bad. And they love it. Like, yeah. I've got so many friends that, like, they love the coffee. I'm just like, man, he's being cheated right now. <laughs> like, he's being cheated right now. I'm sure we can organise some how to get some coffee over there. Everyone in the country's behind you. Everyone from the NRL. We're appreciate very it. proud of you. And uh, keep doing your thing and keep repping that jersey number 38. I appreciate it, man. My man's my man. <laughs>